evening. My name is Kristen Slowinski, and as supervisor of Learning Options High School, I welcome you to the commencement ceremony for the graduating class of 2024. I'm pleased to introduce conductor Annette Klein and the... Oh, and the North Oakland Concert Band, who will be playing our national anthem. Please stand. At this time, I would like to acknowledge our distinguished guests who are here with us tonight. From the Board of Education, Vice President Heather Sanawi. <laughs> Secretary Susan Flaherty. <laughs> Treasurer Jake Singer. and Trustee Scott Taylor. Our so um, Central Office Administration, Superintendent Ben Kirby. <laughs> Assistant Superintendent of Teaching and Learning, Heidi Mercer. <laughs> Assistant Superintendent of Business and Finance, Andrea Curtis. <laughs> Assistant Superintendent of Human Resources, Adam Weldon. <laughs> and Director of Communication and Marketing, Mark Snyder. He is. There he is. So graduates, quick note, that is who is going to be taking your picture. So pause when you receive your diploma today and make sure um, Mr. Snyder gets a good picture of you. And finally, our amazing Learning Options High School staff, special education teacher Denise Baim. <laughs> Science teacher Lisa Bulat. Social worker Courtney Meadows. English learner, district coordinator, Carol Burke. English teacher, Jennifer Smith. Special education teacher, Jessica Trueblood. Mathematics teacher, Rachel Yerby. <laughs> Learning support teacher, Sandy Carland. <laughs> and learning support teacher, Corey Varney. <laughs> and our amazing secretary, my number two, Elizabeth Spearing, and she is up.
She's got big job tonight. <laughs> I just wanted to spend a moment and just thank you, parents, guardians, anyone who was a cheerleader for one of these students here today. Um, this graduating class of 2024, um, if you were here because you supported one of these students, please stand so we can acknowledge the support you have given to them throughout their entire educational career. So please stand. I know teenagers may not always tell their um, important people in their lives that they appreciate them, but I know that deep inside that they deeply appreciate everything you have done for them. And your presence here today means so much. So thank you so much for being here. I think, to be honest, this is the largest group I have ever seen. So that's just amazing. So today, we are here to celebrate the achievements of 51 Learning Options High School students who have met the graduation requirements set forth by Lake Orion Community Schools. Standing before you, I just am filled with the overwhelming sense of pride and admiration. Each of you has reached this significant milestone through dedication hard work, and perseverance. Lake Orion is famously known as the home of the dragons. This picture um, really spoke to me and reminded me also of my childhood growing up in Lake Orion, where every school I went to, we were dragons. Some of you may be newer to Lake Orion or not familiar with the story behind this intriguing title, Home of the Dragons. So let me share with you briefly the legend of the Lake Orion Dragon. In 1894, a dragon was said to have taken up residence in the lake of Lake Orion. Though a seemingly friendly creature it did strike terror in the hearts of residents who sighted it. With each sighting, the dragon grew, as dragons grew, do grow, but it started maybe at 18 feet and grew to a massive 80 feet in a very short amount of time. Witness described it as green with black spots, covered in scales, and rising from the depths of the lake, adorned with slime and seaweed, and just frightening everyone in the community. Some skeptics attribute the sightings to nothing more than a shadow cast on the lake by an old tree. But we'll never know. Was it myth, fantasy, or fact? The story of the dragon has been retold for generations. The dragon story is one of transformation and resilience. The dragon of Lake Orion has become a lasting symbol and part of our community culture. Dragons appear in virtually all cultures across the world, and they hold di um, diverse meanings. For example, Western dragons often are more fierce and scary and more destructive. However, Eastern dragons often symbolize good luck and peace and prosperity. According to Chinese zodiac, this year, so the year you are graduating, is very special and significant. 2024 marks the year of the green dragon. 
And I just thought, this is perfect. This is the year of the dragon. This symbol is considered the most powerful in Chinese astrology, representing energy, strength, power. But the green dragon is characterized by flexibility and ability to adapt to a wide variety of conditions. Just like this dragon, you have overcome so many obstacles, but emerge stronger. Today, you celebrate not just the end of a chapter, but the beginning of a new journey. You are ready to take on the world with the same spirit and resilience that defines our dragon heritage. Each year, I choose a small gift for the graduating class just to remember the moment. And this year, I thought that since 2024 is the year of the green dragon, a dragon crystal stone, and a dragon charm would be the perfect symbol for today. This stone embodies the fiery, fiery, persistent power of the dragon. And as you hold this gift, or have it in your pocket, or on the side of your bedside table, I hope it reminds you of your strength and your wisdom that you possess and the protective spirit that will guide you through life's challenges. Included in this is a poem called The Dragon's Year. In the dragon's year, with fiery might, Learning options grads shine so bright. Energy, power, and endless grace. Adapting, they conquer each challenge they face. Resilience, their gift as they take flight. Guided by wisdom, a radiant light. To futures so grand they now aspire, leaving their mark, hearts set on fire. So cheers to the class of 24 as they spread their wings and truly soar. So it's my hope. It's my hope that you step into this next chapter in your life and you remember, though, that you are never, ever alone. You are part of a legacy, a community, all of these people and more that believe in you and they believe in the power of transformation and the strength of a dragon. So face the future with the same courage and determination that brought you here today. And congratulations to the class of 2024, the green dragon. May you soar to new heights just like that mighty dragon. Cool. At this time, I can be done <laughs> for a minute. Oh. I would love to honor, or it's my honor, I should say, to welcome our superintendent, Ben Kirby, who also has some words for this amazing graduating class. <laughs> Let's take this out of here. The staff member sitting right behind me, have you forgot her? Do you want to mention her? Oh, no. Do you know what happens? Poor Becky. <laughs> Becky, you're not fired. Oh my gosh, I was looking at, you know, I make a guide for myself because I can be a little bit, you know, just, it gets, I get nervous. And I had two Courtney's <laughs> and I couldn't 
figure out why I had two Courtney's up there, but I had no Becky. And Becky, please stand. Becky. <laughs> Speaking of legacies, raise your hand in this audience if you know Becky from when you were in school. There are people. So Becky has been a gift to our school for so many years, and it's because she loves you guys, and it's her passion, and she is such a gift. So I, I apologize for, that's horrible, and I hope you forgive me. All right, well, very good. We wanted to make sure that we recognized everybody. But good evening, graduates, families of graduates, staff, and board members. I'm proud as the superintendent of schools to come together with you to celebrate the accomplishments for this class of 2024. A lot happens to us in life, and we also make a lot of events happen in life. We all impact our own successes, and tonight we reflect on your successes with joy and admiration. Our lives go through three stories, according to the book, Your Third Story. In our first story, you get what you are born into. No choices, how you are introduced into the world at birth. I was born into a world with two parents, only to have that change abruptly when my father left seven months later. No male role model with a single mother making ends meet. What did your first story look like? In your second story, there are multiple people that work to edit and create your story for you, like your teachers, family, and your personal comparisons to others. I think of a student, William, that I met in the 1990s when I was an assistant principal. He had several people who wrote on his second story. He wasn't going to be successful. He wouldn't come to school regularly, and when he did, he tapped on his notebook all the time interrupting class, and he got to visit me, and he just didn't do what he was told. His family wasn't supportive of him, nor the school system. There was one teacher, however, Miss Sari Mercer, his music teacher. It really believed in him and inspired him. Today you know this person as Bill Strings, a Grammy Award winner and highly successful bluegrass musician. Another famed musician, Jelly Roll, talks about his addictions and people wrote him off as he was incarcerated. He made a change. He makes a difference today in the lives of many. There are many people who edit your second story by lifting you up as well. You have many of them here this evening, as Ms. Lewinsky talked about. Your loved ones, the Learning Options staff, which is amazing, and some of your very closest peers. These people are what I call champions of hope. Has anyone worked to edit your story? In your third story, you get to be the author. You will find the answers to a few very important questions in this part of the story. First, what is your purpose? And second, what is your passion? It's your story from here forward, graduates. Write a great one. Write the story of your best self. Don't let anyone squelch your hopes for joy and eternal happiness, the world is a better place because you're in it. Graduates, please remember to thank all of your champions of hope that supported you through your second story. You are to be commended for your perseverance, teamwork, courageousness, and flexibility. You are dragons for life. You are the class of 2024. Congratulations and go dragons. Now it's time to hear some words of advice and inspiration from some of our graduates. Please take a look. And if you would like to join on the slides. Hello, my name is Forbes Keo. 
After graduation, I am looking forward to moving to Vienna, Austria with my girlfriend and going to business school there. Hi, my name is Sean Kelly and next year I'm planning on going to Oakland University. I'm very excited to meet some new people and just gain some more friends, you know, make some new relationships. And one of my future goals is to work on my company. It's an AI company that I started. It's a nonprofit, so I'm very excited for my future and life couldn't be better. Hello, one thing I'm going to miss about high school is all the cool people I've met and become friends with during my four years here. Hello, my name is Caden Hagedon, and one thing I'm going to miss most about high school is the loving and caring environment that all the teachers and staff provided. Most importantly, I wanted to thank my grandpa who passed on May 1st and wasn't able to make it here. Hello, my name is Tracy Burns. One quote that motivates me is, I know that it's a journey, I'm just trying to see the day. It reminds me to never give up on my passions of making beautiful songs and art. Hello, my name is Ariana Kareem, and some advice I would give to my underclassmen is to always stay focused and don't fall into peer pressure. Hi, my name is Araya. I'm thankful that I attended Learning Options High School because if I didn't, I wouldn't have graduated on time. Hi, my name is Jillian, and I'm thankful that I attended Learning Options because of all the support the staff has given me. Hi, my name is Autumn Green. After graduation, I am really looking forward to learning more about myself and just living life to the fullest. Hello, my name is Dorian, and one quote that motivates me is, I think therefore I am, and it reminds me to keep striving for more and paving my way to a better future, because almost anything is possible if you put your mind to it. Hello, my name is Nick, and I'm thankful I attended Learning Options High School because it assisted me in areas I needed help with. Hello, my name is Julie Lohr. Next year, I'm planning on attending OCC, majoring in the health science field. My future goal is to um, attend medical school. Hello, my name is Martel. I am thankful that I attended Learning Options High School because it helped me improve in areas I needed help in. Hello, my name is Quinn Fly. One thing I'm gonna miss about high school is playing basketball, missing my teammates and my teachers. Hello, my name is Gavin Jones. One quote that motivates me is stay determined. It's from a game, but it's something I stand by. It reminds me always to try and never give up. Hello, my name is Kayla Tabor. Next year, I plan on going to OU for two years and then transferring to MSU to major in zoology. My future goal is to get my, fa my bachelor's degree and find a well-paying job. Hello, my name is Aaron. One thing I'm going to miss most about high school is my friends. Hello, my name is Chris Barnes. Some of the advice that I would give to underclassmen is do your schoolwork. Hello, my name is Lotus. I am thankful that I attended Learning Options High School because I was given the opportunity to learn about and pursue a career that I'm interested in. Hello, my name is Emma Wands. Next year, I am planning to be done with college and become a firefighter paramedic, and my future goal is to work at a nice station and become a captain one day. Hello, my name is Devlin. I am thankful that I attended Learning Options High School because the teachers are much better and more forgiving, and Miss Corey is the best teacher. Hello, my name is Jaden Wilson. I am thankful that I attended Learning Options High School because it was a good environment and it helped me learn a lot more. Hello, my name is Noah Blair and the quote that motivates me is sometimes you find yourself stuck in the middle of nowhere and sometimes in the middle of nowhere you find yourself. And that reminds me to push forward even when everything is going wrong. Hello, my name is Mackenzie Veda. Next year I'm planning on continuing school at Lansing Community College and my future goals is to finish school and hopefully start something in social work. Hi, my name is Emma Steele, and I'm thankful that I attended Learning Options because I was given multiple opportunities to grow and change as a person through my own mistakes and through others' guidance, and I appreciate it a lot. Hi, my name is Victoria Gutierrez. After graduation, I'm really looking forward to getting a good job and becoming a lawyer. Hello, my name is Robert DeClue. After graduation, I'm really looking forward to pursuing a career that will make an easier life for me and my family. Hello, my name is Kai Gonzalez. One thing I'm going to miss about high school is my friends and some of the clubs I was in. Hello, my name is August Horn, and one thing I'm going to miss most about high school is seeing my friends every day and talking with my favorite teachers. Hello, my name is Lucy Shin. One thing I'm going to miss about high school is OSTC, the Oakland Technical Campus, because I will miss learning about plants and my friends there. Hi, my name is Jay Donahue. I'm thankful I attended Learning Options because it gave me a different perspective on high school. It actually made me want to wake up every single day and go. Hi, my name is Caleb Balbor, and I'm thankful to have attended Learning Options for the excellent people that I was privileged to meet. 
Hello, my name is Carly Bueller, and one thing I'm going to miss most about high school is the teachers for what they've enabled me to do. Hello, my name is Alex Bauman. One quote that's always motivated me is, don't worry, even if things end up a bit too heavy, we'll all float on. It reminds me to keep going and rise above whatever is holding me down, even if it's too much to handle. Hello, my name is Ellie. One thing I'm going to miss most about high school is the teachers who showed they cared and that they were proud of all of the achievements. Hello, my name is Alexis Burchus. Next year, I am planning on attending cosmetology school and getting my cosmetology license. My future goal is to complete cosmetology and begin working as a hairdresser and colorist. Hello, my name is Angel Mosley. One quote that motivates me is, make it happen, girl. Shock everyone. It reminds me that even though people may place me in a category that she cannot do it, I am highly capable of making my dreams come true and proving everyone wrong. Several of our students graduating today have brought distinct, distinction to themselves and to our school through their academic achievements. Many of our students attended Oakland Technical Campus where they really can get a head start on post-secondary education. I would like to recognize three seniors. Could Julie Lohr, Devin Florida, and Ellie Clark, please stand. <laughs> Turn so your parents can see you. These three students were inducted into the National Technical Honor Society this year for demonstrating high academic achievement and skills in their programs. In other words, being the top students in CTE, which stands for Career Technical Education in Oakland County. Julie and Ellie have promising careers already put into, um, on, like, put into on the way in terms of attending colleges or training in health sciences. And Devlin is just, there's not enough words to describe the talent he has for machining um, and the work he has done. It's just really incredible. So congratulations. The OSTC Northwest Campus has a very impressive agricultural science program where students participate in the Future Farmers of America annual skills competition in the spring. This year, one of our students participated in the Greenhouse Crop Contest. Can I please have Lotus Kerwin come to the stage? Lotus does not like to be the center of attention, but I made her send me this brilliant picture of her in action, and what I saw happen with Lotus these past, I'm going to get choked up, these past two years has been a transformation into like just the most beautiful person 
just like a flower. So I just wanted to reckon, we, we all wanted to recognize because Lotus's team placed first in the state. Yeah. And on that team, which they all depend on each other, Lotus earned the actual highest individual score out of 145 students. I just, on behalf of Learning Options High School, we wanted to give you this award that is in recognition of outstanding achievement and accomplishments at Oakland Technical Campus. Okay. Next, I would like to welcome Jennifer Smith who will be presenting our first English Language Arts Department Award. Hi. Uh, okay. Okay, hi. Um, so, at Learning Options, our ELA courses are designed to help students develop transferable skills that go beyond the four walls of our classrooms. We work on reading and writing strategies that help all students grow in the important areas of reading comprehension and effective communication. Students also practice multiple soft skills such as time management, critical thinking, and the many facets of organization. The course demands effort, and each student here has shown up with courage and has achieved great things. This year, for the Learning Options ELA Achievement Award, I would like to recognize a student that continued to use the ELA processes and skills to improve personally and academically. She grew so much as an ELA student during her senior year here at Options. She was an asset to the class starting on day one. Beyond learning and using the processes and skills, she challenged herself to do things she was convinced she couldn't or maybe didn't want to do. I don't think she loved the content of my class, but that made her efforts shine even brighter. She kept her head in the game and gave her best every single day. I am proud to give this year's English Achievement Award to Mackenzie Veda. Congratulations. I would like to welcome Rachel Yearby, who will be presenting our Mathematics Department Award. When students finish the State of Michigan required mathematics courses at Learning Options High School, they have mastered content in the areas of algebra and geometry. Some of these include trigonometry, quadratic equations, and exponential functions. I am pleased to announce that the Learning Options Mathematic Award goes to Emma Wands. Please come to the stage. During Emma's time at Learning Options, she averaged a 3.94 GPA in her courses, her math courses, earning an A in Geometry A and B, an A in A minus in Algebra 2A and 2B. What truly set Emma apart in her time at Learning Options wasn't just her grades, but also her confidence, perseverance, and growth in mathematical thinking. 
While growing as an independent learner, she continued to ask clarifying questions and wouldn't stop until she was confident in all of her mathematical thinking. Emma, with your, pers your persistence to learn and succeed, you are sure to accomplish great things. Congratulations. I would like to welcome Lisa Bulat, who will be presenting our Science Department Award. I'm pleased to announce that the Learning Option Science Award goes to Devlin, Florida. Please come up to the stage. <laughs> It was my pleasure to have Devlin in my first hour earth science class this past fall. Devlin, you came to my class with such strong science knowledge, I'm not even sure how much I actually taught you. All I know is that you mastered all of the required earth science concepts. The best part is Devlin did not keep this knowledge to himself. In his strong and quiet way, Devlin added to group discussions and helped individuals during activities and study. Many classmates owe their understanding of concepts to Devlin's patient correction or explanation. Devlin earned an A on every test and even had a perfect score on the final exam. Devlin really came into his own this year. He's always been intelligent, inquisitive, and a friend to all, but this year his leadership, talents, and skill were on display for all to see. Teachers, mentors, and peers marveled at his accomplishments here at Learning Options in OTEC. I think Devlin even amazed himself. Devlin, get used to it. I know you have a bright and amazing future ahead of you. I award you the Learning Options Science Award and wish you all the best. <laughs> Devlin. Keep safe. I'd like to welcome, welcome Becky Hornback, who will be presenting our Social Studies Department Award. Uh, tonight, as we gather to celebrate the end of your high school journey, I am honored to recognize a student who has truly excelled in the field of social studies. In a world where understanding history, culture, economics, and human behavior is vital, the student has shown an exceptional, exceptional commitment to delving deep into these subjects. I am pleased to announce that the Learning Options Social Studies Award goes to Alex Bauman. Please come up to the stage. <laughs> In the classroom, Jacob was not only a participant, but also a leader, a source of inspiration whose insightful contributions, thought-provoking questions have enriched our learning environment. But what truly sets the student apart is their profound empathy and compassion. He understands that behind every historical event lies a human story. And it's this understanding that drives him to approach his studies with both intellectual curiosity and heart. Alex, your dedication, curiosity, and commitment to understanding and empathizing with the complexities of our world serve as an inspiration to all of us. Congratulations, and may your future endeavors at Oakland University be filled with continued success and fulfillment. I would like to welcome Jessica Trueblood, who will be presenting our first Positivity Project Award. I am pleased to announce that the Learning Options Positivity Project Award in the area of creativity goes to Alexis Bertius. <laughs> don't be mad at me. I said, don't be mad at me. At Learning Options High School, we hold in high regard not only academic excellence, but also the diverse qualities that define an exceptional student. We acknowledge the importance of positive psychology's 24 character traits, and today we commend a student who embodies one of those traits, creativity, with exceptional brilliance. Alex's boundless creativity is truly remarkable. 
Since the day they joined our school, they have impressed us with their unique ability to view the world through the lens of endless imagination. While they're expressing themselves through art, be it drawing, painting, or knitting, Alexis has a special gift for bringing their ideas to life in ways that mesmerize and motivate all who are fortunate to experience their creations. What distinguishes Alexis is not only their extraordinary talent, but also how they use it to enrich our academic environment. In a world where conformity often prevails, Alexis fearlessly embraces their creativity, injecting our classrooms with energy and liveliness. They remind us that learning includes venturing into uncharted territories and pushing the limits of what is achievable. It is evident that their creativity is not just a pastime, but a driving force that propels them towards excellence in all aspects of their academic path. Alexis is planning to have a career in cosmetology where they will continue to unleash their creativity and help others feel beautiful both inside and out. This speaks volumes about their compassionate nature and their desire to make a positive difference in the world. On behalf of all of us at Learning Options High School, I extend my heartfelt congratulations to Alexis. I would now like to welcome my partner in crime, Courtney Meadows, who will be presenting our second Positivity Project Award. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. I am pleased to announce that the Learning Options Positivity Project Award in the area of perseverance goes to Noah Blair. Please come up to the stage. The Perseverance Award is a reminder that success and perseverance look different for everyone. Sometimes it's about showing up and doing your best, even when things aren't easy. Noah has shown that steady effort and determination matter. His ability to keep going no matter what is something we can all learn from. During his time here, he has shown that he has had some ups and downs. However, what stands out is not just the big achievements such as graduation, but the everyday efforts that got Noah here. His journey has been a testament to steady, consistent effort. It is a great reminder that perseverance isn't always about grand gestures. Sometimes it's about the quiet determination to keep moving forward. As Noah moves on to new adventures and opportunities, let's appreciate the uniqueness of his path. It is truly remarkable. We should celebrate Noah's journey and recognize that success comes in many forms. Today we stand here in admiration of the transformation from a young adolescent to the remarkable young man before us, and we couldn't be prouder. Congratulations, Noah. Oh, that's getting me emotional. The Lamp of Learning Academic Awards program was implemented by the Board of Education in the fall of 1985 to honor and reward those students who have demonstrated exemplary achievement in the classroom. Students earn this award if they achieve a 3.5 or higher during that academic year. I would like to welcome Christopher Barnes, August Horn, Gavin Jones, Lotus Kerwin, Kayla Tabor to the stage. All of these students have earned the academic letter for their high achievement during their senior year. So first, congratulations, Chris. Congratulations, Lotus. Congratulations, August. 
with I got I, congratulations, Gavin. And congratulations, Kayla. Can I now have Jacob Bauman, Julie Lohr, and Lucy Shin come to the stage? These students are receiving the Lamp of Learning bronze pin for their high ac academic achievement for two years during high school. So congratulations, Jacob. <laughs> congratulations, Lucy. And congratulations, Julie. And Julie, I'm going to have you stay right there. Lake Orion Schools also recognizes seniors who have overall grade point averages above a 3.3. Julie has also earned the distinction of cum laude and is presented with a green and white honors cord. Congratulations. Next, please help me congratulate Ellie Clark. Ellie has earned the distinction of cum laude and is presented with the green and white honors court as well. Congratulations, Ellie. <laughs> and please help me welcome Forbes Keogh to the stage. Forbes is pretty amazing. He has earned the highest distinction of summa cum laude and is presented with a gold honors cord and certificate. Congratulations, Forbes. I would like to welcome Susan Flattery, Heather Sinawi, and Scott Taylor to present the Ambassador Scholarship. Thank you, Kristen. Um, not only has this student achieved academic success and thrived in her health sciences program at Oakland Technical Campus, she chose to face the unknown with her shoulders back and ready to face any challenge that came her way. Her commitment to perfect attendance, honor roll, and the Dean's Award paved the way for this student to shine. Her future is bright and we wish her continued success. We are honored to award this year's Ambassador Scholarship to Julie Orr. such an honor to have the North Oakland Concert Band here with us tonight. Please enjoy their performance of Blue Moon.
Thank you. Graduates, as you are invited to the stage to receive your diplomas, know that this is not only symbolizes the knowledge and skills you have acquired, but it also represents the beginning of a new chapter in your lives. It's a testament to your dedication, resilience, and the promise of a bright future. Hold your head high. Walk with pride. Take it in because you have earned this moment. At this time, I'd like to welcome Jessica Trueblood and Becky Hornback to begin the presentation of the graduates and diplomas. Caleb. <laughs> we'll wait till you have your moment. Caleb Daniel Elbor. Christopher Michael Barnes. Nicholas Thomas Barnes. Eulaja Libel Bass. <laughs> Jacob Alexander Bauman. <laughs> Carly Ray Beeler. Alexis Faye Louise Burchus. Didn't even have to look. Didn't even have to look. <laughs> Noah Lee Blair. Gracie Carol Brown. <laughs> Tracy Autumn Blue Burns. Ellie Ann Clark. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> you ready? You look good at How are you doing? Robert Stacy DeClue. Robert Stacy DeClue. <laughs> Jay Laughlin Donahue. Devlin Day, Florida. I know that. I don't say our original name. Did you hear that? Quaylen Jeremiah Lee Fly. Aaron Gollinger. Kaylee Gonzalez. <laughs> Autumn Walina Green. Victoria Elise Gutierrez. Caden <laughs> Elijah Hagedon. August Horn. Martel Cornelius Johnson, Jr. <laughs> Gavin Lee Jones. Ariana Miriam Kareem. Sean Michael Kelly. <laughs> Forbes Aiden Kyo. Lotus Pauline Kerwin. Jillian Ray Kirby. Hello. 
Dorian Matthew Korzynski. Aiden Michael Keebler. Julie Kazon Lore. Sarah Ann Maffey. Angel Marie Mosley. Destiny Ronyell Rogers. <laughs> Zoriah Monet Rush. Lucy Michelle Shin. <laughs> Bailey Skyler Short. Emma Jean Steele. Maxine Ann Sylvester. Kayla Marie Tabor. Mackenzie Moon Veda. Emma Rose Wands. Last but not least, Jaden Anthony Wilson.
conclude this ceremony, we are left with one of the most symbolic moments, the turning of the tassels. This tradition represents completion and the transition from student to graduate. I would like to welcome Carly Beeler to the stage to lead this very special tradition. Class of 2024, it is time to take this next step together. Please move your tassels from the right side to the left side. Congratulations to all the graduates on your campus. Congratulations to all the graduates on your accomplishments. So on behalf of Lake Orion Community Schools, I present the 2024 Learning Options High School graduates. Woo!